Pencil, Sketch, or Paint. Today's app is king when it comes to drawing apps. Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us how Sketchbook works, and this is something that's going to be great for the whole family. It is, yeah. So this is um, an app that's been around for a long time, but I have people that ask me, you know, what can I draw with um, for a, an app? What app should I use? And there's a bunch of great apps out there. This particular one goes from really easy to really pro, and it's available on all devices, so iOS, Android, even Windows and desktops. Okay. So, um, so it's really full featured. So I'm going to give you some highlights here, and then I'm really not a drawer here, so... <laughs> So beware. But anyhow, just to show you some of the tools that you can use. Um, so you can have your favorites on top, but you can look and see that you even have like tools for um, for painting, so for paint brushes. So if I tap on that, it'll show you what the what the painting brushes will do and how they'll look. And synthetic paint, smudging, fine art. So you even have all the drawing, the pencil tools. And then you can apply any kind of texture to whatever tool that you choose. So you can see how those change. And I'm gonna do a little drawing here in just a second. Um, shapes. And so splatter, so there's just a ton of options that you can wow. do. And then you can even refine those further, and I won't go into that, but you can even refine how you want it to look, even with more detail there. So if we want to go in and draw, now I'm on the doodle stage, I am not an artist. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to just draw just a little bit here, just to you know, show you. So you can do it with your finger, or you can do it with a stylus as well. And so those are some of the, using what I chose there in terms of my tools. Now some of the other things that you can do, like of course you can always do shapes and things like that, that's available in most tools. But you can also do things like symmetry, and there's a lot of options there for symmetry, I won't go into them all, but whatever I do on one side is gonna happen on another side, okay? Oh. And you can do some neat things with symmetry. And, um, and of course you have your full color palette so you can choose whatever colors you want. And this also supports layers, and layers are how you build more defined art, more detailed art. Now, since I'm not a drawer, I asked Autodesk, the makers of Sketchbook, to send me some artwork. And um, so I just want to show you some of the samples of things that they've done, even on their mobile devices. So isn't that cool? That is cool. So you can get really detailed. Um, this is the next level up, so you can get super detailed. Really oh, detailed wow. now. This is on a tablet. Using all the smudging and all the other properties that you had. Exactly. And then isn't, I love this one. And we're going to actually watch a video. One of the things you can do in the pro version is that you can actually record your steps. This is about 18 seconds long and you'll see from the beginning stages of sketching, detailing, shading, adding the textures, and then at the end adding the color. And again, I didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that awesome though? Wow. So the point in this is that you can go from really simple to really advanced pretty easily. So I think this is a great tool for kids, even if you want to get them started in digital art, this is a great way to learn how to use those tools, how to do the layering, paint brushes, pencils, all of that. It's free. Okay, what I showed you is free. Then there's a pro version for with pro tools for $4.99. And then it goes up to a subscription basis to get all the super tools for I think it's $29.99. I've got all those details, of course, at iPadWisdom.com. And if you want to get it weekly by email, shoot me an email and I'll um, I'll send it to you every week. But what a great way, you're right, instead of just playing the games all the time, to get the kids interested in doing something that may be a little more creative. Yeah, so you could literally be driving along on your summer trip, your spring break trip, hand them the phone, hand them the tablet, and they can draw with their finger, or if you have a stylus, they can do that. They can get really creative and have some fun and learn at the same time. Pretty cool. If you want to learn more about the app, go to WOS.com and you can click on Tech Time.